Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time and I'm here for my weekly Monday vlog and what these are about if you're new is a multi-topic video and I only do one of these per week and unlike my single topic videos and it's just to keep you updated on projects let you know of some videos yet to come lead you back to some old videos I may already have out and just to share whatever's going on around here so let's get started on the topics of today so right here I just filled up my bottle. This is the one that I keep in the bathroom for rinsing my hair with. This is my nasturtium flower vinegar that I made this last year. And this was my first time making the vinegar out of just nasturtium flowers. Nasturtium flowers are really great for your hair and help to promote hair growth, but there are other great herbs. Normally I like to mix the rose petals in, which is really nice because the rose petals will give it a deeper color. But because of the weird weather we had this last year, I didn't get near as many roses so I needed to really conserve my rose petals for using in the skin cream. So anyway, I'm down to my last bottle and hoping this will last for a while, but it doesn't matter. I have lots of vinegars going. And if you're interested in how I make vinegar, I'll go ahead and link you back to the most recent video I have. And that's specifically about fruit vinegar. But I do believe I go over a few details on the differences between making a fruit-based vinegar or an herb-based vinegar like I have right here. So anyway, yes, I do make certain vinegars just to use in my hair. I used to just use it to wash with. But since I'm really liking the Dr. Jacobs soaps to wash with, whether I use it plain, highly diluted in water, or I mix it with my own herbal blend of tea and then wash my hair like that, I do still like to follow up with my own homemade vinegars for a rinse. And usually I'm going with the floral ones, but if I run out before I can collect more and get more made, I'll just simply switch over to whatever other vinegars I have made up, whether it be apple, pear, peach, citrus, it doesn't matter. But the other video I'm gonna to link to down below is the one I did a couple, two, three years ago about the many uses of homemade vinegar because I get asked that so often. What do you use all your different vinegars for? Well quite a few things. So go ahead and check that video out if you're curious. Okay, now moving on a about a couple other topics. Right here, this is kind of an interesting little thing. I didn't even know they made lighters like this. So this is basically an electronic lighter and it was a gift from my sister-in-law. And so how you do it is, is you turn it on right here and then you push this up and hold it and you'll see a little arc right there. And I've used it several times for lighting candles and, and lanterns because I've been using my oil lanterns quite a bit lately since they're a little easier on my eyes. And this should last for, well, pretty much ever unless it just falls apart. But you charge it up. It just runs off a mini USB. And off of one charge, it's like, I don't remember, hundreds of lights. And then you just charge it up again. So I thought that was pretty cool. You don't have to rely on fuel for your lighter and it should always be there. In fact, I might consider looking at getting a couple more of these. So I don't know where she bought it, but I'll see if I can find some that I can link to down below if you're interested. Maybe some of you already have some, you've heard of them. I never had, this was totally new to me. Okay, so a couple more things. Now these little mushrooms, some of you may recognize these. This is from the Mary Mushroom uh, kitchen set that was made in the mid 70s, put out by Sears. And my mom had the full set back then. She had just bought it. I remember when she got that in and I was 14 years old and she was totally loved that set. She had all the tumblers and the, the canisters, the cookie jar, the whole bit. I'm pretty sure by the time I finished going through my klutzy pubescent stage, I had probably broke every tumbler in that set. But anyway, the story about these is our, our good friends. We were at their house. The first time we went over to their house, I saw the salt and pepper shaker sitting there and I hadn't seen anything like that in years. And of course, it immediately reminded me of my mom. So I was exclaiming about them like, wow, where'd you find those? That's really cool, blah, blah, blah. Well, she just recently gifted me with the set. And that was really sweet of her to do that because we're coming up here on January 2nd. It'll be three years since my mom passed away. And so it just kind of, she didn't even know that, but it just made it even more special. And then what was even more cool is that her daughter knew that she was going to give me this set. So she went and found another set to replace the one, her, the set that her mom was giving me. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Anyway, some of you may remember that from the 70s. So this is just something to 
that's just going to be a special reminder of my mom. And a couple more things. Now, this is something I'm super excited about. Now, you know how I'm always talking about aluminum, and I keep thinking I'm, I've got rid of all my aluminum pans or replaced them. Then I was reminded of the aluminum popcorn popper that we use all the time. And it's funny how you use something all the time, and you're just so used to using it, you don't even think about what it's made out of. But I was like, well, I bet they don't even make a, a stovetop popcorn popper like the Whirly Pop in stainless steel. Well, I was wrong. I looked it up and sure enough, I found one and it actually, even though it is much heavier than the aluminum, it wasn't any more expensive than buying the brand new aluminum one. Now this isn't our Whirly Pop brand, but I'll go ahead and link to this down below. We only used it once so far and uh, I thought maybe it would take a lot longer to heat up because the regular aluminum one is thinner and so it's going to heat up quicker, but it didn't seem to take any longer. And so I am just so excited. And this one is just actually slightly bigger than the aluminum one that we had. And then another cool thing is I did finally come up with a new chocolate recipe. It's been rolling around in my head for a while. And some of you may have seen the picture of it in the community post. And that is the coconut cream chocolate. So it's made along the similar lines as my peppermint patty the peanut butter chocolate and so on i have several different recipes i have a whole series of chocolate recipes all ones that i've created on my own but i've been doing a little bit of tweaking to my basic recipes and so as such i'm actually writing down the recipes i've never done this i'm finally taking time to sit down and write them down and type them up so i'll be able to give you the written recipes once the video that I do on the coconut cream, which I'm going to shoot right after this, once that comes out, I'll have a link to share with you to the recipe, not just for that, but for all of those in a written form. So I'll be working in the options and then also the additions plus the changes I've made to the recipe that makes it a little bit healthier and the options to go both vegan or, and or keto. And one of those would be, of course, using the monk fruit sweetener in place of sugar. So I've been working on this, I'm putting it together, so be watching for that to come out. The video will probably be at least three weeks out by the time you see it, but by then I'll definitely have the recipes all typed up and ready to go into a document so that I can share that over on Patreon for free, for free. So and then that link will be posted in the description box. Everybody will be able to see that link. Whether you donate to our Patreon or not, it doesn't matter. Every post over there is free to everyone. No donation required. And then one more thing I wanted to say before I close out this video. It seems like this is a shorter one than usual, but I know some of you are going to be asking, where is Mr. Rain? Because I haven't had any videos coming out. <laughs> he's still around here, trust me. In fact, he's sitting right over there right now. Do you want to say anything just to prove that you exist? No. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and he has actually been shooting some videos. I just have to get around to gathering all the, the clips together, figuring out what goes with what, because sometimes when he's shooting videos, he's doing them in so many different parts that then I have to gather them all up and then put them together and figure out what is for what. Remember, I'm the one that does the editing. So he is he hasn't been shooting as many videos as he normally would, but he is still doing them. He's just been busy doing many other things around here. And so uh, eventually you should start seeing some more of his videos coming out. But, you know, just just a lot of different projects we have going on. And some of it is just simply trying to keep up on the chamber orders, both the half gallon and the quart size ones and the colloidal generators plus still when he's able trying to get a few of his wood products like the tampers like this or the sock darners and different things like that which we keep selling out of but if you're interested in any of those just keep watching just keep watching the store because when he's able he whips them up and i'll get them listed on the store but yes he is still around here just in case you're wondering and sometimes very much underfoot no and by the way, I hope you all, by the time you're seeing this video, it would have already been after the hall, after Christmas. So I hope you guys enjoyed your weekend and had a really wonderful, blessed time with your family. Okay, well, that's it for my this and that for the week. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any thoughts or anything you'd like to share or questions you'd like to ask, go ahead and comment down below. And don't forget to open up the description box by clicking on either show more if you're on a PC right down here below my channel name. It's in all caps 
or if you're on a smart device you won't see that but you should see a little gray arrow right over here in this corner that will open up the description box so you can find the links to the various videos and other things that I'm talking about including my new popcorn popper and if I can find a lighter like this one again I'll be linking to that as well alright well thanks for watching take care and God bless <music>